Hello everybody and welcome. I feel a need, the need for speed. And the speed I'm talking about is the speed that is going to get us to our target jewel. And we're aiming to get there in less than 200 days, 160 days thereabouts, so to speak. Okay, we're going to have a few stage separations here because what I'm going to try to achieve is get a vehicle very, very quickly out of current sphere influence and then accelerate a whole lot more until I reach a speed sufficient enough to get me to Joule really quickly. Also, the thing is, we are not really in a very uh, good transfer window. So the reason for that is something you're going to see in one of my next videos, but suffice to say there was an urgent need for a speedy delivery. So here we're on our second stage and after that is finished and we're on our way out of the solar system, well, out of the Kerbin's sphere of influence, uh, you can see here we need a lot of delta V and we got a lot of delta V. This thing here has more than 30,000 meters per second. The way that I did it was I used a lot of ion engines and xenon gas. And of course, once you've uh, reached the limit of one of the canisters, you're going to drop them because you don't want to carry all that weight with you. You can see here your trajectory is going to be almost a straight line to Jewel. So this is going to be a very quick vehicle indeed. Luckily enough, we're uh, in a trajectory where we're almost lit all the way by the sun. I also included some uh, radiothermal generators so that I have some more uh, power generation capability. Okay, what you're seeing here is I'm trying to aim for a lathe. There is a reason for that. And we're going, yes, the red line is going to be my final trajectory. And yeah, this is passable. I can work with that. Okay, now the fun part. We're going to do a really, really long uh, speed reduction maneuver in 147 days, which is now. So we need about 23, 25,000 meters per second of delta V. We. we more than enough. Uh, we have more than enough in our tanks left. The thing is, though, that now that the sun is in a different orientation, I have to throttle down from time to time so that the ion, uh, so that the batteries can recharge because the ion engine is really demanding on that electric charge thingy. Okay, this is just skipping ahead through hours, and I mean literally hours of burning, because I had to activate four-time physical time acceleration, and then just sit by the computer and control the thing. Because it was not enough to uh, orient it to the maneuver node, because then I would lose the encounter with lathe and I had to adapt all the time. So yeah, this was really tedious, and to be honest, it would have been quicker for me in real time to just do a regular transfer window, hit time acceleration and be done with it. But for a reason I can't explain yet, there will be a video in the future where I will explain it, I had to do it this way. Anyhow, we're now almost circularized around lathe. Almost, almost, almost. Oh, we're going to make that, don't we? Yes, there we go. And that's it. That's how I got a vehicle to jewel or to lathe in less than 160 days. So yeah, this is just a really short video. I promise there will be one explaining why I did this. So stay tuned to this channel. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.